Welcome to learning to engineer. In this video, we will see the circuits of multivibrator using operational amplifiers. In the previous videos of this playlist, we have covered the uh, concepts of operational amplifier in a fair amount of detail. If you have any doubts, you can check out that video and you can come back to this video. So let's get started. In a multivibrator circuit, we can generate output waveforms of different intervals as required. If you have the multivibrator to be continuously sweeping between two voltage levels, then it is called as a A-stable multivibrator because it doesn't have any stable state. It is in either of these two states or this is also called as two quasi states or two uh, false straight. It doesn't mean that uh, there is no stability in the circuit. It means that there is no point where the circuit doesn't give you any output voltage. It will either be a positive voltage or a negative voltage usually decided by the values of VCC and minus VEE. This is a stable multivibrator. In a monostable multivibrator, it will have one stable state where you will get when you pass a trigger voltage, you will get one uh, signal output and when you do not pass, you do not uh, pass any in signal input, you do not get any output. That is a monostable multivibrator. In a bistable multivibrator, you will have two different output levels at different points of time which is decided by the trigger voltage. Okay. This is the circuit of A-stable multivibrator which is constructed using an operational amplifier IC. This is usually IC741 or there are many different brands of uh, this IC is available in this market. Okay, This is just the overall representation of a differential amplifier circuit and inside this you will have two amplifier circuits either using VJFTs or MOSFETs or JFETs. Okay, so generally the FETs have a higher input impedance compared to the uh, BJTs. Okay, so either way this circuit functions as an operational amplifier when it is constructed in the differential mode of operation. In a stable multiplicator, you use the coupling resistor as a capacitor. In monostable multivibrator, you will have a resistor and a capacitor in this place. In the bistable multivibrator, you will have only one resistor because you only want one stable state, not the state which is charging and discharging, right? So in multi in um, bistable multivibrator, you have only one resistor in this place. Whereas in A-stable, you do not have any uh, stable state. It has to be constantly fluctuating, just like how the capacitor charges and discharges. If you want to know the detailed uh, um, you know, operation of a capacitor, you can check out this video where I have posted one question and this will give you uh, enough understanding about how a capacitor works. Okay, So in this circuit, we have a capacitive coupling and this charging circuit is facilitated by this resistor. Okay, Here, you do not have any signal input that is applied to it. The two voltage levels plus VCC minus VEE, these are the operational supplies. These both supplies are sufficient to get you a A-stable multivibrator. Let me explain you. Here I will draw the output voltage and here I will draw the VC or the capacitor voltage. Okay. So initially let us assume that this is completely recharged. It doesn't have any charge. Okay. So in that case you can simply consider this to be an open circuit and let us say this plus VCC is making the uh, positive uh, terminal to have a higher voltage compared to the negative terminal and as a result of this positive feedback you will have a uh, output voltage which is positive which is which might not be exactly plus VCC but a little uh, closer to it okay in this state as long as you have a positive output this voltage will be applied across this capacitor and this capacitor will charge charging okay as a result of this output voltage you have a feedback network provided by this resistor as a result the capacitor will start charging towards this positive voltage okay 
the voltage begins to increase till it reaches till it is completely charged up to the v out value okay so after this capacitor is charged what will happen the capacitor will uh, begin to discharge in the opposite direction so when it is trying to discharge it will add voltage to this terminal when it is trying to discharge okay so the potential difference in negative terminal will be more than positive so what will happen to v out it will be closer to minus v e okay the v out will go closer to minus v e and when there is a negative voltage what will happen this affects the charging value of this capacitor too now what will happen to this capacitor this will begin to discharge so when it is completely discharged what will happen again it will begin to charge up to the v out value and in this case when the voltage at this negative uh, terminal begins to reduce positive voltage will be more okay so when positive voltage is more v out will be closer to plus vcc again okay so again what will happen the capacitor will start to charge up to this limit okay and continuously this capacitor will start charging when you have a positive v out and as a result what will happen this capacitor will start to uh, charge up to its maximum point and when it begins to discharge the voltage at negative terminal will become more and more and more as the capacitor discharges during the discharging phase the negative voltage will be more so as a result v out will be closer to minus v e so if you observe the waveform of this capacitor it will be uh, charging discharging charging discharging so there won't be any proper uh, uh, a sta a stable state so as a result this is called as a a stable multi vibrator okay this circuit can be constructed in many methods in the circuit that you are seeing on the screen capacitor coupling is used and it is designed using vjt the working is similar to this okay so in different manners you can apply the uh, operational amplifier and get the kind of output that you want okay so thanks for watching if you are thoroughly uh you know understanding the concepts of this operational amplifier i'll recommend you to watch this quiz time video i have asked you three simple questions and you can test your understanding on this concept and let me know your thoughts in the comment section okay so if you have any doubts in this concept or any concept for that matter you can type that down in the comment section or you can you know mail to learning to engineer at gmail.com subscribe to my channel for more similar videos and uh, you will be uh, getting a notification on your mobile phone when you place the bell icon too okay thank you